On the major break in the case of a woman's murder, police have arrested her husband a year after she disappeared. And tonight, we know more about the suspect's troubled past. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Dania Beach, where police made that grim discovery. Carrie. That's right, Ruta Bay. We did some digging into the background of the suspect in this case, Jimmy Torres. Court records and jail records in Miami show that Torres is no stranger to law enforcement, that he has a criminal history dating back to the late 90s and currently is facing a charge of sexual battery. Now, Miami Day police say Torres murdered his wife and then left her body in this Dania Beach Canal. I knew she was never going to go home. Mabel Montesino said she feared her sister, Maribel Torres, would never return home, and now her fears have been confirmed by police. Maribel was last seen in November, and on Thursday, divers found what appears to be her body in this Dania Beach Canal near Griffin Road and I-95. Her family is worried Maribel's mom will never come to terms with it. I don't think my mom will ever feel the closure. I don't think she's been in denial for months. Miami-Dade police say Maribel's husband, Jimmy, killed her and tried to dispose of the body. I'm holding you no bond on this charge. Police say Maribel was last seen in November, but wasn't reported missing until April. A break in the case came when a witness spoke to detectives. The witness provided information to detectives that Mr. Jimmy Joseph Torres had an argument with the victim, struck her in the head with a rod, killing her, and then dragged her out to the backyard where he concealed her in a box. The witness said Torres moved Maribel's remains to Dania, placing the body and box in the canal. Maribel's sister said Torres told several stories about what happened to her, even making it seem she was still alive. We were receiving text messages from my sister's phone saying that she had moved to Homestead, that she had found a new job. In fact, police say Maribel was dead. Her family wants justice. I want him to rot in prison. I want him to go to jail and for the rest of his life and never be able to come out and and destroy any more families. Torres is being held in jail without bond. Maribel's family says they're working to get custody of her two children, ages 10 and 7. Live in Dania Beach, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.